I see you have very beautiful nail color today, yes. <laughs> but that's related to the lecture today. It's color theory, how to use color to make your art beautiful, yourself beautiful, and also convey emotions and symbolism to your audiences. If I were not to teach at the university today, I'll be wearing this. But because I'm the lecturer today, I choose a more neutral color tone because it looks more serious. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's what color can do. It can create an atmosphere and communicate information. If you guys have seen this movie Inside Out from Disney, they use different color to symbolize different emotions. Give you an overview of very important basic color theories. You have to know to design anything in these graphic design software. So the first one is RGB CMYK color modes. These are the two main color modes you have to get it right before you start designing anything in computer. These two color modes originate from two different types of color generation. I'll first explain RGB. So RGB stands for red, green, and blue. This is a very common color mode that you will see in your study, your research. For example, on the right, is it your right? No, on your left. On your left, that it is a microscopic image of the cells. For those of you who have done these types of immunostaining, you will label actin microtubule with different color. Usually you will use red, green, and blue. That's exactly RGB. In computer, they code the three colors in a factor from zero to 255. The larger the number, the more of that color will display. And this is related to how the monitors operate. You have these little light source behind your monitor. The liquid crystal will organize how much each of the color would pass through. In the graphic design software, you will see this type of like vector coding system. First vector will be red, second is green, and the third is blue. When you have 255 in the first vector, then it's pure red. When you have 128, 128 of blue, then you get the teal color. This is how you mix color in an RGB color space. And when you have a zero of all the color factor, then you get black. That means there's no light passing through. You will also find another coding mode, which is called the hex code. Hex stands for hexadecimal. Do you guys still remember what that is? Yes, carry digit by 16. First two digits represent red, Second represent green and the third set represent blue. For example here, FF000, that means pure red. That means 255. It is just a simple conversion. And you will encounter hex, uh, hexadecimal code a lot in design and Figma because it is easier to copy and paste. It is just that. Because if you are using the RGB space, then you have to copy and paste three times. But if you use a hex code, you only need to copy the code one time. All right, another one is CMYK color coordinate. So CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and key. Key is black, and it's a factor of 100. And this color space is applied when you are printing your design onto paper. If you open your printer, you will see the ink is composed by these four colors. That's how you're able to print a poster like this by mixing those four colors. The common thing you will encounter is what you design in the RGB space will look very dull in the CMYK space. Because CMYK is a subtraction model of the color. It takes color away in order to reflect the color you want to see. On the other hand, for RGB space, it is a direct light source. That is why the more RGB color you have, the brighter the color become. So you have to keep this in mind when you set up your design file. What is the application for this design? Is it digital only or is it going to be print? If it is going to be on print, you have to choose CMYK color. There are colors in the RGB space that cannot be translated into CMYK. So if you want to see which RGB color that is safe for printing, you can check out this website. Because some software, they only support RGB. Adobe Illustrator supports CMYK. Figma, PowerPoint, and Inkscape only support RGB. When you design, make sure you check if your color is on this list. Okay, the meaning of color. 
Different color can convey different emotion to our audiences. And these are the typical emotion that each color can induce in your audiences. Red is passion or dan danger. This is orange, orange, energy, creative. Yellow, happy. With um, in Inside Out, they also use yellow to identify happy, right? Black, death, power, would be just like something sinister. Green, nature, health. Blue, calm, wisdom. Purple, wealth, ambition, white, and pure. You might feel like this is like a cliche type of you know, interpretation of color, but cliche does work. There's cultural difference, interpersonal difference in how everybody experiences color. Don't be afraid of triggering people because that's the point of making any artwork. That's because you want to influence your audiences and you want to convey a message. So they have to be triggered. And when people are triggered, they would have their own interpretation. And, and a lot of time it depends on their own experiences and cultural background. So for example, purple symbolizes ambition and royalty. But that is, that is in a context of British monarch because Purple dye was really expensive back then. Only the aristocrat could afford it. In the Netherlands, orange is the color for the royal. In China, yellow is the color for the royal. Study your target audiences and see what is understanding of the color. Then uh, let's get into how to combine colors because most of the time we will not only use one color for your design. We will use color wheel to show you how these combination works. First color scheme is called analogous. Here's an example of Van Gogh's uh, sunflower. The color combination he used here is analogous. He used uh, the primary color is yellow and he used the color that is in the vicinity on the color spectrum. The second one is complementary. This is also a very uh, common way people combine color. Combine the color that is on the opposite side of the color spectrum. This can produce a lot of contrast. Okay, another one is monochromatic. Here's an example of Picasso's blue period painting and you can, he only used blue. So different shades of blue. And the fourth one is neutral. So these colors are very desaturated. That's almost black and white. Okay, let's have a little quiz. But for this poster, which color scheme do they use? Okay, then how about this one? Okay, then what about this one? Some people have red, green, color blind. Putting green and red together, some people will have a difficult time reading it. This is what Nicki Minaj did right in her poster. When you're using red and blue, you can cover most of the people, then it will be a more accessible design. This is also one reason you see that in a lot of research paper, they use red and blue for their charts, because that can help with the accessibility. Let's try out the Adobe Color tool. This can help you to find the color for your poster. So do you have your laptop with you? 